This is something that I didn't expect to be doing for at least another six months. I, today on this channel, Tuesday the 3rd of June at about 1 something p.m. I would look, I would look right here and, you know, to look at the time, but yeah, that's just a little clue at what's going on again with my Galaxy Note 2. Today, I am unboxing the HTC One M8 in gunmetal grey. Which happens to be one of the hottest handsets available in 2014. If you guys want a normal unboxing video um, with no rambling and whatnot, then this is not the video for you. I'm going to be talking about my previous phones. I'm going to be talking about why I'm upgrading now, what's going on, how much did I pay, what the hell is happening. Because some people are just genuinely interested. Because I kicked up a lot of hype when I upgraded to this from my iPhone 3GS in October 2012. Without further ado, I'm gonna pan down to my desk, we're gonna get the phone out of the box and we're gonna have a massive conversation about what the hell is going on because I know all you guys are curious. So, don't normally do this kind of video, but I hope you all enjoy. Oh, and by the way, new hair, yeah, hope you like it. It's going with new life, new phone, new, new everything. I'll give you an update video soon, it's pretty cool. further zoom down uh, to look at the close unboxing of the HTC One M8, but first let me tell you exactly what's going on. So before anything kicked off with my Galaxy Note, well anything recent, we'll go back to my Galaxy Note story uh, later on in the video, um, I was phoned up by three and you know they asked me would I like an early upgrade. Right at the start I wasn't interested, but it soon became apparent to me that I would save about a hundred and twenty something pounds if I upgraded early considering I'd be getting a new handset much earlier and the price of my contract I wouldn't have to pay the remainder on the Galaxy Note 2 I only had to pay the early upgrade fee, didn't have to pay for the HTC One M M8 and I can still sell my Galaxy Note 2 on the market by myself which is in fact something that I am going to do but it needs a little bit of repair work first. For those of you who aren't aware I do indeed use, or pretty much for, since October 2012, the Galaxy Note 2 has been my primary device. But a few months ago, I in fact used the HTC Desire Z, which is quite an old phone. I used this for a long period of time. Um, my girlfriend lent this to me when this initially crapped out. So what happened to this? The phone would refuse to charge or turn on. Just spontaneously and I didn't know what was wrong with it but I eventually got around to ordering a new battery and a new charger and it seemed to pretty much fix the problem um, but the USB connector has always been dodgy since then now get this right guys three phoned me up on Saturday I believe or was it Friday well either of those days and they said would you like an early upgrade well this was working fine but, you know, she convinced me to upgrade early, so I was like, yeah, why not? That would be great. And then last night, the day before delivery is due, this thing completely died. And when I say died, I mean it really died. It was awesome. So I was using my phone, normal day to day, and I'd been in work um, when WWDC, WWDC blah, 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 was on. I'd been in work, and um, yeah, I had quite low battery on my phone. So, um, I went in the shower and I took my phone with me like I always do and it sat there on the edge of the bath and yeah, it just, it just did that. It was very steamy in the bathroom and obviously phones don't really like that and I came back in here, plugged it in to begin charging it and this was the most entertaining thing that happened. It started sizzling, okay? The, from, from the charging connector, it started sizzling and um, yeah, it's not the first time it's happened to me, but this time was extremely extreme, if that's even a phrase. So it started sizzling and it stunk of electrical burning. Pulled out the USB connector and at the end it was black. So I was just like, 
what the hell? And of course it wasn't charging. And uh, just in case you guys didn't know, I have got previous and new burn marks on the bottom of my Note 2 exactly where it's meant to charge. Not sure if that was focusing, but yeah. It absolutely stinks. It's amazing. So basically, in my Note 2, I have completely killed the USB board and I've probably damaged the speaker board that sits above it um, because it's probably melted through. So I'm going to buy those two. They're about £4 a board. I'm going to fit them myself and then I'm going to buy, because as you guys know, I've got a grey back cover. It's actually a white handset. What happened was I wanted a grey one and when I was drunk on tour last year, I uh, swapped my back cover with someone that had the grey Galaxy Note 2. So that's a pretty interesting story. But yes, that's my Note 2 story. Other than that, it's been pretty cool. What don't I like about it anymore? I don't like the plastic kind of side of things. Um, the size doesn't bother me. The size is really good. Don't, don't like the plastic side of things. Um, really touch with no. And um, yeah, other than that, it's a great device, really good device. So then when I, when I started to use this HD, I know I'm jumping all over the place here, guys, and I, I need to get to the unboxing, but I told you I'd be rambling. Um, HTC Desire Z, when I swapped to this, bearing in mind this is pretty much the same age as my iPhone 3GS, I was shocked at how usable it was. And the quality of this, compared to the quality of this when you hold them in your hands because of the metal and whatnot. So I was like, this time round, I've got to choose a HTC just for the fun. Um, now, I was very close to choosing the Sony Xperia Z2, the all glass one with a 20 megapixel camera that's waterproof. Reason I didn't choose it was because I, I don't need those features. I'd rather boom sound, you know, because I, I listen to music a lot. Um, I'd rather boom sound than things like a 20 megapixel camera, 4K video recording and waterproofness. Um, even though I've kind of maybe proved that I do need a little bit of waterproofness. Um, that's what you get for Snapchatting in the shower. <laughs> of course, no, no, really don't, you know. Snapchatting in the shower is not a good idea and I've, I've never done it personally. So, uh, yeah, just, hmm. Yeah, maybe I should get on to the unboxing of the HTC One M8 and I'll talk a little bit more about why I chose it. So I'm doing the classic reach around the tripod thing, which is actually pretty fun. Um, here we have the two handsets that I was talking about and hopefully I won't really have to dig either of them out. Now what's going to happen is I'm going to keep this for a spare because I really enjoy it as a spare and this one um, when I get that little bit of a sort of motivation thing in the next couple of weeks I will indeed order the parts, repair this, and sell it. Um, the only thing that you'll get is visible damage there, but there's not a lot I can do about that. So yeah, and the white balance has just changed for the better, so that's very good. Um, now, of course, I'm going to bring into the frame the star of the show, what you guys have been waiting for. This is indeed the HTC One M8 in gunmetal grey. Um, this is the UK version, of course, locked to three. Love 3, brilliant, brilliant service. Okay, so I have now deleted a load of stuff off my memory card so I won't run out of space during the unboxing because, of course, once you've unboxed something, it's unboxed. And, yeah, running out of space on your memory card is not cool. Let's put that to the side for one second, and if you're a UK customer, let's check out what you get if you get an early upgrade phone. What do you get in the package? Well, of course, you get the obligatory DPD bag. So nothing's protected, it's all just loose in the bag, but whatever. DPD is a great service because they just text you and all that stuff when they're about to arrive. It's brilliant. Of course, I didn't get any of the texts and I was in fact still in bed when this arrived. So someone else in my house kindly signed for it. Um, yeah, you also get a delivery note, which is of course covered in my personal information. You do indeed get a leaflet that questions you. Have you changed your mind? Now this will be um, an important leaflet for me to keep because I have never ever held the HTC One 8. I haven't done that much research because to be perfectly honest guys, when I when I got my Galaxy Note 2 I was still had that young tech head on and I was really into phones but these days, you know, whatever works and whatever's cool really. Um, so I just kind of plumped for it. Um, of course, three send you a pay-as-you-go SIM card, standard SIM, which I assume you can just push out to being um, 
other size SIM cards, maybe a micro SIM, maybe not a nano SIM. We'll talk about that in a minute. But of course, yeah, they kind of give it to you just in case you want to put a pay as you go SIM in this phone to sell it with or something. Or if you're trying to, you know, they're trying to get you to shoehorn other people in your house or your friends onto three. And then, of course, the main star of the show, which is my new SIM card, replacement SIM. Now, this is indeed a nano SIM. My Galaxy Note 2 uses a micro SIM. And yeah, so I need a new SIM card. So hopefully activation and everything will be cool. The lady on the phone said I'll be keeping my same number. I just generally hate phone stress. So hopefully that'll all be good. Um, the HTC Desire Z that I was using, of course, is old. So it uses a standard sized SIM card. So I had to bodge up my own SIM adapter to use that quickly when my Note 2 crapped out on me. But anyway, rambling aside, let's finally get into the HTC One M8. Now, I'm not too sure what I actually think about this box, guys. It is fairly interesting um, in terms of the fact that, you know, look at it. <laughs> it's, you know, I don't know, I don't quite know what it's like. Okay. Here we go. Now, I can already tell that. Um, this phone is going to be significantly smaller than my um, Galaxy Note 2, just because my Note 2 kind of dwarfs the box a little bit. You know, it doesn't, but it, it kind of does at the same time. So, yeah, I, I, I promised myself I'd never go for a phone uh, smaller than 5 inches, so that's what stopped me from getting the original HTC One back in the day. Um, yeah, let me just cut through this little bit as well. Awesome. So I am really excited, guys, to have a nice quality phone, nice build quality and whatnot, in my pocket and in my hands. Come on. Ah, oh, professional IMNC unboxings here, guys. <laughs> right then, here's the phone. Cool. Nice size. Really nice size. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> wow. Obviously a non-removable battery. Nice weight on that. Feels really good. Feels like a chunk of metal. I could actually knock someone out with that. <laughs> that is, yeah, nice. And obviously no physical front buttons. I am a bit worried about that. But anyway, let's get into the accessories and then we'll take the uh, shrink wrap off the phone. Okay. So everything's all packaged up nicely here. We do indeed have... Oh, wow. This is cool. They give you a case. That is badass. Like a little skin sleeve type thing. For, for grip, because I assume grip is a problem with this device. So that is really cool. Wow, nice of them to include that. Maybe they were getting complaints and they started including it. That is fantastic. I'm going to uh, look after all the accessories, of course, guys, because, you know, I want it to be easily uh, easily sendable, backable if I don't like it. HTC One, a, One M8, this is the getting started guide, along with the SIM removal tool, SIM tray removal tool, which is pretty cool. Um, here we have, this is the limited warranty statement. I've got a two-year manufacturer's warranty, so that's really cool. Um, here we have the earbuds, which have replacement pieces, the earphones, sorry, rather, um, which has got a microphone in them as well. They feel quite nice quality, but of course I'm going to leave them all wrapped up. I don't think you can return the phone to three after unwrapping the earphones. Here we have the micro USB cable, which of course I will need, because I'm not going to trust my old one. And that is locked away in its bag, so I'm going to try and open that carefully. I'm probably, I'm, you know, 80, 90% sure, well, not 80, I'm 99% sure that I'm not going to return this, but, you know, I want to keep all my options open. And here we have the wall adapter, which feels pretty large. So let's get some of this stuff out. Here we have my scissors covered in orange squash, because I tipped some on my desk the other day. How does this work? Here we have it. 
Oh, check this out, guys. It's small, but then the earth prong just yanks up. That is interesting. <laughs> that's quite a cool design. So that's really cool. I kind of like that. It looks like some weird submarine or spaceship or robot or something. Um, let's move some of this out of the way and we'll get all organized. Let's get open our USB cable. Because of course, we're gonna wanna charge it. Here we have the USB cable, nice, black, looking good. Maybe shorter than my other one, not a problem though. Straight in there, and that is your charger. Lovely, nice, awesome. So accessories wise, that's the only thing I'm gonna be using. Let me put that to one side, ready to charge. And then the last bit of the video, here we go guys. Let's just, gosh, this is nice feeling. Really nice. Let's unwrap this. Oh yeah. Very nice. Very, very nice. Gorgeous. Lovely. I like it a lot. Just have a quick closer look. Yeah. Really nice. Colors nice. Size is nice. Let's do a quick size comparison. Okay, so fairly similar, but looks, sort of feels much nicer in the hand, much nicer. Sleeker, little bit smaller. Yeah, this is cool. I think I'm really going to like this, guys. I think I'm really going to like this a lot. So that's it for the unboxing video. Here we have it. I'm going to set all this up because that's a very important thing to do because I don't have a phone at the moment and if anyone tries to contact me then, you know, you, you understand. So, thank you very much for watching this unboxing video full of rambling. It's been a good one. Classic IMNC video that's uh, forcing itself to be different to everyone else's, but yeah. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, head on into the video description to check out all my cool stuff. If you're a new watcher from just this video, please be aware that I do not do phone stuff. You will not see me do another phone thing for a very long time, probably, unless I get a weird urge to compare the two or something after I've fixed it. But it's kind of pointless because this is a much older device anyway. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, everyone. As always, your support is amazing, and I'll see you very soon in the next video.